Hello, it's Lou Collins. I've got a template for you that I'm going to be putting together to make a fun kind of wallet card. Uh, this template has all the measurements on as well. So if you don't have your sort of your spray adhesive that I'm using and things like that, but you do have a scoreboard, you can follow the measurements to create this. So it is the wallet. You have side pieces as well, and then you also have the wrap to go around. And I'm going to be decorating it with uh, this brand new product. This is from Creative Craft Products and it's called My Pets at Home. So lots of cats and dogs in here. It's a really fun collection. You've got ephemera and you've got papers. Uh, and this is launching on Wednesday the 16th of November over at Craft Stash. So you get a sneaky peek of that too. So first thing we need to do is cut out the elements for the wallet. So let's start first of all with the trimmer um, and let's cut our main base for our wallet. So, pop my trimmer the right way round. I always keep the guide and the trimmer to the right of me. If you're left-handed, you can do it the other way. Now, you've got the overall measurements, which is seven inches by eight and a quarter. So, I'm going to bring out the arm of my trimmer just by lifting that up, and that just pops out like so. So, seven inches. Uh, let's do it this way. Let's do seven inches this way because that's the shorter side of the paper. So we can get a really nice accurate measurement with this guide. And then we also want eight and, it's just under here, it's hiding under the arm, eight and a quarter. So that is eight and a quarter. Lovely, nice clean cut with this trimmer as well. Now what we also need to do is some score lines. Now on this trimmer, I can do my score lines. You can use your scoreboard alternatively, but I'm quite happy to use the trimmer for this because then I've got the measurements here as well. So you want two and a quarter inches in from each of the edges. So that's two and a quarter. And I'm just going to run my trimmer over there a couple of times. And then you need another quarter, so that's going to take it up to two and a half. So we're at we were at two and a quarter, let's take that up to two and a half, and then score again. Then I'm going to turn this over and do exactly the same again. So two and a quarter, and then move it a quarter of an inch, and two and a half. So that means the gap in the centre there should then be three and a quarter inches. So hopefully you can just see those lines. Now I'm going to fold these lines inwards, so valley fold each of them, just pressing them. I can, you can do it with something like a bone folder or scoring tool if you prefer, but because of the nice deep lines that we've got from the trimmer, I can just do that with my fingers. We prefer to do it on a flat surface though rather than in the air, as I was. Let's fold each one round, and then you'll see you've got the size and the shape of your wallet coming together. So pop that to the side and then I'm going to move to the wrap here. So when I went to create the wrap for this, I noticed the template had a slight discrepancy on the measurements. So I'm going to tell you now in case the template um, isn't the correct one that you've downloaded and you've got the same as me. So the length here, seven and 14, or sorry, seven and a quarter of an inch, um, that refers to the two inches the three and a quarter and the two inches. It's not taking into account the three eighths here and the three eighths here, which effectively when you add these two together, that actually makes a whole other uh, three quarters of an inch because it's uh, six eighths of an inch, so three quarters of an inch. So you need to add that on to seven fourteen. So that is making your entire wrap eight inches long. So make sure you cut your wrap at eight inches long if your template says seven and a quarter, and then you can continue and do the same measurements. So then we've got uh, scoring at two inches, three eighths of an inch, three quarters of an inch, another three eighths of an inch, and then another two inches. And I tend to work from the outside in. So I popped this in and I did score at two inches, move it along three eighths of an inch, score again, and then flip it over and do the same again. Okay, so then we've got our wrap, and when you fold your wrap, you'll notice that it should fold and fit absolutely perfectly around the sleeve that you've already created. Now, the next piece we need to do is to just create for this um, pieces that are going to hold this together into a wallet. These side pieces here, so these are a little more fiddly, um, but they're actually 
nice and easy to understand. So you've got your two and a quarter inch length and your three quarter inch width here. I know you can do these from either color, but I'm going to use the same blue that I used for the main wallet. And you'll need to cut two of these. So again, I'm using my, I'm using my pokey tool today this in here and then you've got inch increments on here so I'm just going to score down the quarter or oh sorry the um, quarter of an inch quarter of an inch quarter of an inch and that's what you should be left with and the same on here so a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch there we go just on each one you just need to snip yourself a little corner out and I would say do it around about a quarter of an inch on here so there's a quarter of an inch there and the same on this one just on one end of each of these tabs you could measure it if you prefer there we go so you've got two pieces there. So let's put this together so you can understand how this wallet is going to work. So we're going to take our main piece, the longer piece over the top is our top, and then we've got, this is our wallet, so this is the bottom piece. So now I'm going to take, um, I think I'm going to take a wet glue for this, but I'm going to find my, here it is, my Creative Craft Products wet glue, because this has a smaller applicator at the top, and what we're going to do is just fold over this tab and we're going to apply glue to the bottom of the small tab and the outside edges or the underneath of each of these long pieces and this is going to sit just on the edge just here and fold the wallet into itself there we go so just like so now if I bring this up I'm just pinching this at the moment just to ensure it dries nicely I'm actually going to um, be very careful with this not to squeeze it too tight I don't want to flatten it I just want to ensure that the glue is going to catch I'm going to take my pokey tool or you can use a bone folder or something and just press on the inside making sure that little lip that we glued is also uh, reaching the cardstock and gluing against it. Now, I would leave this for uh, probably a good five minutes just to allow that to dry thoroughly before you move and do exactly the same on the other edge. So I've now cut some um, pieces of pattern paper. I have finished the two side pieces and allow them to dry thoroughly because you don't want to be fiddling around with mats and layers. Um, if your glue hasn't dried on those hinges and I'm going to wrap this pattern paper around my wrap and then also on the base on the front and the underneath I'll just show you that very easy to uh, measure and cut the mats and layers now this one I'm going to leave a slight border all the way around I've not folded the paper yet because it's just as easy rather than working out the measurement it's actually just as easy to place the paper on and then fold it while it's in place and glued in rather than trying to do it the other way. And then we can take our glue and we can also add glue to the underneath of one of the sides and just fold that together. Now when you do fold this together, make sure that you have a right angle just at each of your corners and that you're not squeezing it in too tight or making it too loose. So nice and straight, right angles as well. And there we go, that looks pretty good. So I pop that aside to dry. And then I'm just going to use these and making sure that I'm putting them on the right. They should be the same size when you cut them, but just double check because your measurements, just in case your measurements went anywhere where they shouldn't do. I'm using the spread aside of the Craft Stash glue. It's the Creative Craft Products Glue, which uh, Creative Craft Products is an exclusive brand by Craft Stash, uh, and we have lots of essential tools and adhesives and such. Uh, really good quality, but also really inexpensive. So I love this glue, 
and I love that it has the fine applicator on one end and then on the other end we also have the the spreading tool as such so it makes life much easier for doing larger pieces of paper without it warping so just pop this on there making sure there's no glue where you don't want it to be you've got a nice even border as well so as you can see you've got your wallet you can pop things inside there gift card vouchers things like that and then your wrap should fit nicely over the top so just be very careful the first time you do this in case any glue is still wet so i've got that over there let's just pop the lid on here for a second because i'm then going to come to the ephemera now i've got obviously the cat choice of cats and dogs now i've used the cat's paper because it's got the fish bones on there and the mice on there as well so definitely themed around cats and i'm just going to choose maybe one or two of these to decorate the the wrap here so let's choose we've got all sorts we've got little pussy cats we've got uh, black cats if you're not superstitious at all oh i like that one i really like that one because he's got the ball of wool on his um back there and he's looking a little bit grumpy it's kind of all wrapped around him so let's just see i think i'm going i think i'm going to go with that one so i'm going to pop that on with a little bit of foam instead of flat to give it a bit of dimension my large scissors i don't need large scissors for this to cut the foam again it's craft stash foam so really good quality and i'm just going to pop that in the middle there so there we go so we've got a really lovely easy gift wallet that you can create using the template provided and you slide the wrap off and then you can put that in there you can also put a piece of paper on here and you can add a message there if you want to um, you could pop photos in there, memories maybe, it could be something like a brag book, this could even be part of a mini album. So there's your template that you can download from Craft World and if you use this template at all we'd love to see what you're making over in the Inspiration Gallery.